Ensure the power is removed by turning off the smart tracker and unplugging the smart tracker. So you remove the screws from the side. Three millimeter, we're going to remove this set screw, which will allow the LVDT to move out of the way. And then we're going to remove these two small screws, being careful to keep them because they're needed again. Remove the set screw, set it aside. This piece is no longer needed. Next, we're going to remove the LVDT. We're going to snip the old wire. Now we'll remove the old LVDT by pulling the wire through the track. This can now be discarded. If you have an older unit that uses the strain relief here, you can just push the wire through and leave it. The newer systems, the wire is going to come through the uh, opening here and it just can fish with the new wire. Now we're gonna remove the wire track using a small adjustable wrench and a four millimeter Allen wrench. We're just gonna remove these bolts. Set the bolts and the nuts aside and the washers aside for later use. There's two of them. Move the track out of, out of your way. Now we're going to remove the bracket. There are two four millimeter screws. We're just going to remove these screws, saving the uh, screws, setting them aside for future use. The bracket's no longer needed. Now we're going to remove the zero bar. With a six millimeter wrench, loosen the screw, hold the bar, remove the screw, set the screw to the side. No longer need this bar. Now we're going to install the new zero bar. We're going to use the screw that came from the old one. We're going to screw this in and we're going to get it hand tight and you want to ensure that the zero bar is as straight as possible. Now we're going to assemble the LVDT bracket. You're gonna use the screws that came out of the original one. Make sure that the cut here is facing forward.
three millimeter screw. Ensure these are tight. And then the screw that came from the LVDT clip. And this one you do not have to get tight yet. Just get it down. Now we're going to install the LVDT bracket using the screws that came out of the original bracket into the original screws. Four millimeter wrench. Tighten these just slightly above hand snug. Now we're going to install the wire track. We're going to use the same bracket and the, the original screws with one washer and one nylon cert nut on the back. times two. And again, a little more than hand tight. Now we're going to install the new LVDT. We're going to insert the new LVDT into the holder, compress the spring, and then using a three millimeter screw, we're going to tighten this set screw. And ideally, you want the, you don't need to over tighten, but it needs to be pretty snug. You want this facing inward, and then while it's in there, you're just going to twist it just a little bit so that it's tightened. Now we're going to install the new LVDT wire. You're going to take, there are three connectors, three holes, three female and three male. You're going to insert that, screw on the strain relief and connect catch, and then you can just snap this into place. And if you need to, you can pop this loose to help snap the existing uh, the wire into the existing track and then give yourself just a little bit of play here and then the rest of the wire you're going to push under here into the bottom of the machine we're going to attach our track back and then the LVC comes with two zip ties the first opening we're going to zip tie the wire to keep it from moving and then approximately the third or fourth opening we're going to zip tie the wire to the track just to keep it secure now we're going to fish the wire through where it fell through you're going to pull it there is a, a cable management rack you want to try to get as much into there and then you're going to follow the existing except this time you're going to actually come on the outside and then you'll plug in to channel three for the left and channel four for the right. Great. Now we're going to plug the new LVDT in. Left is the channel three, right is channel four. Mm -hmm. 